Fox Carolina First Alert Weather. Well, we saw a lot of clouds today. They're going to clear out for Friday or Thursday and Friday. A really nice end to the week. We will usher back in some clouds and a little bit of that drizzle and light rain for Saturday. It's not going to be a meaningful rain really for our drought, but enough to at least uh, dampen things a bit. And we'll talk more about that on our long range model. But next 24 hours, uh, temperatures tonight will be cool. Low 50s for the upstate and the mountains. Upper 40s, pretty standard for this time of year. So make sure the light jackets are out for the kids as they're stepping out toward the bus stop 70 in Chesney tomorrow afternoon. What a day 72 in Clinton 71 in Blacksburg. I always have to remind myself this is the kind of weather that I dream of all summer long. Got to soak this up 72 in Walhalla and Williamston 74 in uh, Calhoun Falls and an upper 60s to low 70s in the mountains. 68 for Hendersonville 68 in Canton. As we take a look at your next big thing, it's that rain chance that's going to be going into the weekend. Friday's dry, but notice on Saturday we're going to have moisture increasing, so it's not going to be heavy. It'll be light rain throughout the day Saturday and even into early Sunday as a, front, a frontal boundary approaches, so we're going to have that scattered light rain for really both days of the weekend. We're also looking ahead to a total lunar eclipse. It's on election day in the morning, so keep your eye out. It's going to be early, though. You might need to set your alarm. And we'll be talking much more about this, and of course, I've been posting information about it on our first alert weather app. So tracking the tropics, a quick look at a couple systems that aren't going to have an impact on the United States, but we did have a landfall of Lisa. It's a tropical storm now as it moves inland, hitting Belize, and it's going to eventually move back into the southern Gulf, but not expecting to make much northern progress. And then we've got one way out in the Atlantic. Martin is not going to be a threat to the United States. So looking ahead, chance for rain this weekend and also fall back. You'll be setting those clocks back an hour on Saturday night, get a little extra sleep perhaps, and then next, next week it'll be beautiful, just warmer at 77 by Monday. In the next uh, seven days in the mountains, beautiful to end the week, then just some scattered showers Saturday into early on Sunday. Of course, you'll want to check in on the morning news for the latest on your weather when you wake up.